how to reset the immobilizer. 1. Locate the immobilizer EEPROM, either in the ECU, or in a separate immobilizer box. For knowing this, you will need to look for reference in a database, either on software or online. There is no rule or standard for this. Every manufacturer use their own standards. 2. Set your programmer. By choosing the EEPROM type, and the virgin file to be loaded in memory. Some systems will only allow to reset the immobilizer and some will allow to totally eliminate it. When eliminated, you can cut any standard key and that will be enough to start the car. If reset, you will need a program key which is compatible with the vehicle's system so it get automatically registered by the just reset immobilizer, allowing it to start the car. 3. Bridge the crystal of the ECU, or immobilizer box. 4. Connect your interfacing hardware to the target EEPROM. Do the read test to check for good connection. 5. If connection is OK, load in memory the needed virgin file from your hard disk. Write it to the immobilizer's EEPROM. 6. Do a new read test, but this time, to check if the file was written correctly. The checksum should be the same as when loading the file from disk. If it changes, it is possible that EEPROM was selected wrong from the programmer's list. The EEPROM is write protected, but we find that only on newer EEPROMs, or the EEPROM is damaged. There is no possibility of a bad connection here if the read first test was passed. Also, if the checksum is different from the checksum when loading the file, but it reads three times the same now, it is not a connection problem. Data simply was not stored right because any other reason. 7. If read test is OK and checksum matches, then the ECU, or immobilizer box will be ready to be reinstalled in the car.